JavaScript comparisons. So from the school we know a lot of comparisons operators that are greater less than greater less than or equal equals not equals and in JavaScript we have specific comparison operator it's strict equality. So we will talk about this operator in this video. So how can we use them? The easiest way is compare two numbers and what we know that 2 is bigger greater than 1 and the result of this operator is boolean value true or false. Like all other operators a comparison returns a value. In our case it returns boolean true or false. Let's check for example it's true and um, it's false and we can compare the two isn't one it's true so result of this operator we can assign to value for example result also what I want to mention that please note that uh, comparison equal, equals operator it's two signs of equal a single equal operator means assigning. So here we have two, in this case we have one. In strict operator we have three. The next one is uh, comparing strings. For example, we have string A and we have string B, for example. It falls. Why? In JavaScript it's pretty easy. JavaScript uses so-called dictionary or lexicographical order. It means that in the words strings are compared letter by letter. For example, false. Why it false? Because it checks the first letter, they are different and then it stops comparing because of a is true. Why? It's because of it using Unicode index of each character. For example, A is false because of indexes of these two characters in Unicode table are different. The next one, if we have the same letters, for example, It compares length of numbers. So we see that two of them are the same, but what is bigger is bigger than B. True. So because of we have more characters. The next one, what I want to mention is comparison different types. We already know what is type conversion and how we can use this conversion with comparison. For example, if we want to compare string and number, we will have two. Why? Because of operator greater or less compares two numbers, two operands, and it converts them to numbers. And two was converted to number, and number two is bigger than number one. Let's see this sample. It's true because of 0, 1 was converted to number as well. Let's check. Yes, it's 1. The next sample is comparing with Boolean numbers, Boolean variables. True. True was converted to 1 and we have result 1 is equal to 1. And the same for false. Again true because false is converted to zero, zero is equal to zero is true. And now let's talk about this operator strict equality. So as I mentioned before, when we're comparing two values, we have a conversion to one type. For, for example, boolean to numbers, numbers to and tr strings for numbers. But not always we need this conversion. Sometimes we need to check is really 
value is different or not. In this case, we can use strict equality. For example, false is equal to zero. It's false because of they have different types and they are absolutely different. The same case for strings. Now, if we have single equality, it's true. If we have strict equality, it's false. So, from best perspective in JavaScript, when you're creating your program, try always use this strict comparison. Because of sometimes you will have some errors, very bad and uh, difficult to catch errors, because of the is hidden conversion and it's very difficult to find such errors. So, use always strict comparison. And the, the same is to strict not to. It's true. Let's remember about uh, greater than or equal. For example, we have 3. Is it bigger or equal to? It's true. And in the same time, greater or equal 3? It's true. Because 3 is 3. For example, at my age is 27. For example, my age is 27. And uh, let's compare my age is bigger than 27 true bigger than 23 yes but 42 no okay and uh, now just let's talk a bit about comparison our favorite undefined and uh, null values so null bigger zero false null is equal zero false as well but null greater equal zero it's true why because of the reason is that the equality this operator and uh, these operators more or less work differently so comparison operator converts null to a number and we can compare number and number on the other hand the equality checks this operator for undefined and null is different than for other types. It works without any conversions. They are equal each other and don't equal anything else. That's why null isn't equal null, but null is equal null and undefined is it equal null? No, but undefined is equal undefined. Summary, what we need to know about these operators. Comparison operator return a boolean value always. Strings are compared letter by letter in the dictionary order. When values of different types are compared, they are converted to numbers in case if we do not use strict equality. The values null and undefined equal just each other and do not equal any other values. We, don't, we need to remember about this. And be careful when using comparisons like more or less with variables that can occasionally be null or undefined. Checking for null and undefined separately is a good idea. So we always check is, for example, b undefined. No, let's create b. b undefined. True, because of we declared b, but we didn't assign any value.